I have never seen a powder trickler like this, and you probably haven't either. Watch the video to see what's in the box. Gavin Gay here from UltimateReloader.com. Every once in a while, I see a new product, and I think, well, that's different, and this is no exception. This is the Hornady Vibratory Trickler. We're gonna get this out of the box. Have not looked at this yet. And we're gonna see how it works and compare it to the functionality of some other powder tricklers. Okay. Very interesting. This looks very high tech. <laughs> okay. Actually, it looks like I've got that upside down. Okay. All right. Haven't even read the instructions yet, but figuring this out uh, more or less as I go. Got a power jack in the back here. Okay. So that's our basic unit. I'm going to take a look at the included instructions and we'll be back to do some powder trickling. So here's what I thought we'd do. We're going to install batteries. That's going to get this vibratory trickler ready to roll, and then we're gonna test it using an AND FX 120i lab scale, a short stick powder, H4350, and a flattened ball powder ramshot tack. I've already removed the battery door here. We're just gonna use two AAA batteries, which are not included. I like quality batteries, so I'm using Duracell here. Click that shut, and then we can start to use the unit. So I'm gonna get my lab scale set up. We're gonna do some trickling. So here's my setup. I've got the Hornady lock and load bench powder measure. I've got the Hornady powder measure stand, which is great. It's got this lock and load system, just like their AP press and some of the other presses. I've got the 4350. I've filled up the powder measure and we're just going to do the same with the trickler reservoir. I wanted to use the AND FX120i scale because it's accurate down to two hundredths of a grain. So this will give us a really good picture of just how accurately we can control the powder trickling with the vibratory trickler. Okay, so let's see what our bulk charge comes in at. We've got 27.8. So let's say we wanted to go to 29, for instance. There's three different modes here. We've got high. I'm just gonna fill up the tube with that. You can see it progressing along, I like that. 28.2, 29. All right, so we got a little bit aggressive there. Take a little bit out here. All right, 27.5 high, 28, 28.42, so we're gonna go to the low setting here. 9.4, 29 exactly on the nose. So that's the high and the low mode. I'm gonna show you this little LED display here. There's also a variable speed mode from one to, let's see what each of these sounds like. So variable, that's high pretty much. you notice the frequency lowers each time. So depending on the powder you're using and depending on how much you need to trickle, you have three different options there. Variable, low, and high. And variable just means you get to pick a specific speed and you can quickly adjust that as I just showed. So 27.36, we're gonna go to 29. It's actually kind of fun. Twenty point five, twenty twenty eight point nine. Let's go to the low mode here. See if we can get that last two hundreds. That should do it. Twenty nine point oh six. This is very very uh, touchy. This scale obviously because it's so accurate. Twenty nine point. Eight four, so we need 0 
And you can, what helps here is to look at the granules. You just want a couple at a time, 29.02. If I'm within two hundredths of a grain, even if I'm doing sort of bench rest level accuracy stuff, I'm definitely happy. So that is the H4350 test. Let's see now how it's gonna do with the ball powder ramshot tack. So I emptied the powder measure. There was 4350 in there. I've filled it up with tack. Now it's time to empty the vibratory trickler. First thing I'm gonna do is to empty the tube and then we're gonna pour the rest out. A little bit of static as you'd normally find with acrylic plastic. Let's see if there's anything left in the tube. Kind of alternate back and forth there. This actually is pretty fast to empty. Okay, now we're gonna add some tack here. Get some of the granules off of the scale. I like to use a finger on each side as kind of a guide. We're just gonna fill it to within about a half inch of the top there. That should do. Ramshot tack is nice because it meters really well from a variety of different types of powder measures. Okay, so let's see where we're at with our charge. Do one subtle in charge there. It's not as critical when you're trickling. Actually, we need to double check our scale zero here. Okay, we're within, okay, that's zeroed, good. Okay, so we're at 30. This is a more dense powder. There's less air in there, obviously. So let's say we wanted to go to 32 each time for this particular charge. We've got to fill up the tube. Okay, we're going to start dispensing powder. 31.2, 31.5. This is gonna to be totally a feel thing. I'm expecting as you do more of these, there's 32 right on the nose. You kind of develop a, a rhythm and we can use that variable speed setting as well. That's zero, okay, just double checking. Thirty point seven. Thirty one. Nine four, six hundredths, thirty-two point zero two. So we're within two hundredths of a grain. This this tool is really fun and it works really well. To wrap things up, let's take a look at three different types of powder tricklers. Compare how they work. Compare pros and cons. If you've done precision old school rifle reloading, you're probably familiar with the basic powder trickler. This is the Hornady powder trickler. This is very economical. It's got a plastic body and a brass tube. You fill up this little reservoir here and you rotate the tube and granules of powder come out the end. Very easy to control, very cost effective. If you wanna step up to a more deluxe mechanical powder trickler, the quick trickle would be what you want from Hornady. This has got the cast iron base, uses the lock and load system. It's got adjustability for height. It's got two speeds. If you rotate the large knob, it goes really fast. And if you rotate the small knob, it goes really slow. So it can perform a lot like this vibratory trickler. We have kind of a bulk mode and then a fine mode. In fact, we've got three different modes here, right? The bulk charge, get it up close, and then trickle it to that last two hundredths of a grain or a tenth of a grain, depending on the resolution that you're looking for. And there's a large reservoir on this quick trickle and a removable cap, kind of like you'd find on a conventional powder measure. This unit is great. I've got a separate video on this, which I will link to. And if you click on that first link in the video description in the article, I'll include a link to this. And then we've got the vibratory trickler. And this unit is interesting because you have such a fine level of granularity control over the speed of the trickling with that variable speed setting. And then you've got the simplicity of hitting the high or the low button as well. It's fun to use. It's definitely a different way to go about it. I think once I use this a little bit more, it'll get quicker and quicker to use. If you have something like arthritis, 
this would definitely be the trickler for you because all you have to do is hold down the button. You don't have to rotate knobs over and over and over and over, which gets very, very repetitive. So I hope that you've enjoyed this comparison and this overview of the Hornady Vibratory Trickler. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Here's my question for you is which powder trickler would you use? Please drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications because I got a lot more Hornady content coming up that you're not going to want to miss. Links in the video description. First link is going to be a link to the article, links to product pages, more detail. I've got Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store and I'm on Patreon. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.